are you, Mike? I'm great. Thank you for having us. We're here in Portland, Oregon, driving the 2017 Buick LaCrosse. That's right, the all new. Fourth generation, right? That's correct. With completely new from the ground up. All brand new, everything. So you're part of the engineering team. What's what's your role in the team? I am. I'm. My title is vehicle performance manager, and so we, my team, we focus completely on the performance of the vehicle, ride and handling, noise and vibration, fuel economy, drivability, those type of things. Really, and with this car, we really focus on ride comfort and quietness. Okay, let's go for a little ride. We're gonna drive here in the city, and then later we're gonna drive on the road. So it's gonna be a good way to start uh, the, to get a feeling out of the car. First thing you probably notice in the video is like we're sitting here in city, we're like pretty busy intersection. We don't hear anything. No. A little bit of the hum of the engine, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. So we take it serious for every part of the car, right? Right from the source of the powertrain noise, the uh, the we make sure from a wind noise standpoint, we're we're spot on and really segment leading from a quietness standpoint. And that's one of the things that this new generation of Buick vehicles has been known for. I mean, like you even have a name tag for it, right? Like Library Quiet. Yeah. Yep. Our our uh, the the whole Buick brand really we were shooting for you know library quiet so the quietness is something we take very serious and we uh, get a lot of feedback that that's what our customers want and so we put a lot of focus on uh, putting the right content in and the right tuning to to get the quietness performance we need. So the whole brand has been like been in a kind of rejuvenation process in the past what like five ten years maybe oh yeah yeah and like it's nothing i mean you have those commercials where are pretty funny when they show like a view you can say like that's not a view right <laughs> or why is it what is that, that's what it is like or I don't see a Buick or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a Buick. Yeah, you know? that's a, uh, and that it really surprises people when when you I guess don't see the the, the name tag or like the the badge, and like you realize how good the quality in the interior is, how good it performs, and all that. Like yeah. it has changed completely. Yeah. It has changed, and you know, so that's kind of the the theme of those commercials, you know, to 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 get people thinking about it, and and really. You know that's a Buick with a question mark, and now we're moving. You can see, and as I drive these cars around, you can see in, in all generations they know what a Buick is. Now. Yeah. Now they're looking at it and saying, "Oh, that's that's the new Buick." Yeah. Exactly. Know? We were actually uh, driving uh, on the highway, and uh, I noticed this guy in a sports car, a Subaru WRX. Right, the young guy like, looking at us like, "What is that?" Yeah. And like then he realizes, I guess, I mean, he was obviously got his attention. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm seeing it uh, as well. So that's. Uh, that's, that's a good sign. Yeah. That's, that's a great sign. That's exactly so uh, I understand you've been with the company for about 28 years, something 20 like that. Years, yep. So you've seen a few things of the examples. Yep. yep. Over the time. <laughs> of right. the ones that weren't that right. good looking or like they weren't that popular. So it's a big, big change. It's very exciting. This, you know, to see not only that movement, you know, that we've been talking about, but really when you look at this car, how beautiful it is. You know, so for right from. The ground up to everything not only from my standpoint from a performance the engineering part of it but the design itself and, and just how beautiful the car is both inside and out so let's talk a little bit about the mechanical specs of it what engine powertrain uh yeah so the transmission the, all that the, kind of thing yep the engine is a 3.6 liter v6 it's a 305 horsepower it's made it up to an eight speed automatic transmission comes in both front wheel drive and and, and uh all wheel drive we have, uh, from a suspension standpoint, we put a premium suspension. We really have two suspension kind of configurations we offer. On the front suspension, we offer McPherson strut, and we also offer hyper strut, our hyper strut. And then on the rear suspension, we have a premium five-link suspension. So we can really optimize the ride handling and noise performance of the, of the suspension and chassis. And so uh, what, what was the horsepower? And 305. The 305. And this is a big car. I mean, this is... Uh easily five passenger car like a lot of space in the back for people to really enjoy it and right. like it's not a sports car per se but you can have some fun with it oh yeah it. yeah yeah i think uh you know as we've seen here you you step into it when you you need to pass a car or whatever it, it has plenty of power to do that uh coming into the interior again i mean besides the high quality of i mean i think silence or like quietness is one of the key components of uh, luxury nowadays yeah it is and, because and even right here you know sorry to interrupt but right here we're in an auto stop exactly so, you know you, you really don't get much quieter you know and the, we really have made that seamless so you go into it and out of it and and 
all your experience there is just more quietness. Exactly, and that's uh, some of the other systems in other cars are kind of like you actually notice it, and sometimes you even if you don't know that the system is in, you actually think that something's wrong with the right. car. Right. Yeah. This one, you notice that the engine goes off like right now. Now we have a big, big FedEx truck beside us, so we can hear a little bit of that, but still, it's very comfortable, and like that's one of uh, of the factors, I guess, that people maybe don't even realize when they think about a luxury car, about quietness in the cabin is one of the key factors to elevate the level of the car, right? Yep, correct. Uh, again, you have done uh, a lot of changes in this, especially with the new shifter. I mean, you have a, a new system. Electronic precision shift. It's all by wire. So what that allows us to do is we can put that shifter and that uh, anywhere we want. So we put it from an ergonomic standpoint in the most correct, optimal position uh, for most people. Yeah. And uh, so that's one big benefit of it. The second big benefit is, of it is uh, spaciousness, you, or you can add uh, room underneath because you don't have all the mechanical mechanism that you would have with a normal uh, mechanical shifter. So, so that's a real advantage. Yeah, there's a big, see. big space down here that, right. I mean, according to the woman, the woman's side of the purse that we can probably fit it here yeah. most of them yeah but you can also fit like um, a, a yeah, tablet we, like, that's correct we can you can put a tablet under there we have a charging port so you can charge your tablet when it's under there you can fit a purse a smaller purse maybe a medium purse and so and that's what our customers are telling us you know we need uh, they, they, they want that storage space and and this allows us to do that and um, going back to the quietness and, and all the testing that you do, can you a little bit explain the process that goes into it? Because you really take it, I mean, that's your job, so like, but Buick in general takes it like really, really serious and like it takes a long time to develop that. Oh yeah, yeah. So, you know, well before we have any even what we would call hardware to drive in, we're working uh, uh, through computers doing analysis to get uh, right from the ground up everything uh, correct from a from a structure standpoint so that uh, when the whole car comes together that it meets the performance requirements that we target for this segment and uh, so we spend you know that the, the team spends countless of hours optimizing on a on, uh, from an analysis standpoint uh, structural performance getting the geometry of the suspension right and, and really getting a, a good start uh, before we even develop hardware, and then we develop hardware and work uh, the fine tuning of the vehicle, uh, whether it's the chassis or all the content that goes into the vehicle to get it quiet. Uh, we do that over a, a short period of time to to really hone it in and, and get this level of quality. So there are three aspects, right, to to uh, achieving that goal, uh, like avoiding the the noise oh, okay. from so the from outside. Okay, so from a quietness standpoint, yeah, we look at it. There are like three three pillars, you might say. One is to reduce, and that would be to reduce the noises at the source, whether it's the powertrain or all the different components. We really hone in on, on those particular components and make sure the, the noise coming out of that component is as quiet as possible. Then the second would be we block any noises that do exist. So we, we have uh, special ways like the acoustic laminated glass that's in this vehicle on the front and on the sides. Uh, to block the the sound that's coming through, and then the third would be uh, to absorb. So any any sound that's left over, we put uh, a lot of acoustic treatment material in every part of the car, from the uh, engine compartment all the way uh, through the interior and into the trunk to absorb all that sound to get this to get us to this level. So of we have laminated glass here and here in the front too. That's correct. Yep. And then also like to understand for people to understand how it also works. You have the noise canceling uh, That's right. technology, yep. right? Like similar to some of the headphones from Bose, yeah. which actually is the audio system uh, provider for this car too. Yeah, through the audio system and, and using microphones in the car, we have a you know a, a, a noise canceling uh, system that that also helps with canceling any of those peak uh, sound frequencies out to to really uh, get the quietness. And then uh, as uh, any of the other new GM products, you have amazing connectivity technology. Oh, yeah. A car that makes a huge, huge difference when you compare it to pretty much anyone else, right? Yeah. So I mean, the the features are there's there's 
all kinds of features that we have. You know, we're, we're, we've got all the voice command features in this vehicle, and that's really just another reason why uh, our customers love this car from a quietness standpoint, because those features work so well then. So when we're standing here and we want to change the radio by, you know, hands-free and, and do a voice command, yeah. it, it, it clearly understands us because there's no background noises and, uh, and it, it, it makes the change that we uh, ask the first time. Yeah. OnStar, which actually we actually used coming uh, back into the city today, and again, we were driving, we were moving uh, maybe at 50, 60 miles an hour, and we had no problem communicating, and like, yeah, the... the the quietness in the cabin really helps to oh, yeah. the voice command because sometimes, for example, with my accent, I mean, uh, it might be difficult for some other system. This one got me right, right away. Yeah, even when, uh, you know, like the sunroof, if you open the sunroof, we, we do a lot of engineering uh, with the way the air flows over the roof of the car at, at speed so that you can comfortably have the sunroof open and still have the quietness in the cabin. Yeah. So it's it's every aspect of the vehicle we're looking at. Then Apple CarPlay, uh, what yep. other? Uh, Android Auto we, we offer through uh, through the RR infotainment system. Yep, OnStar. OnStar and... Uh, and 4G uh, LTE that, with, yeah. with Wi-Fi, yep. yep. But once you have that in a car, once you have... Uh, Wi-Fi in your car, and you get into another car that doesn't have it. It's like, oh, what's yeah, yeah. wrong with yeah. this car? Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 really awesome to be having a to have a a, a rolling wireless Wi-Fi. You know, and uh, yeah, it's it's what we offer in, in all these vehicles. So, so how much great. are we talking about? Because I mean, this is a lot. I mean, great design, great performance, good, uh, very good uh, driving experience. So a lot of technology. What are we talking about? About price? Price-wise, it's yeah. uh, thirty-two-nine. Wow. Yeah. 32.9, but uh, I guess there are different options and trims and everything. Yeah, so there's going to be right as you as you uh, scale up the the uh, options in the car, it'll go up, you know, into the 40s. Um, but uh, yeah, the but starting But still, price that's is like a pretty nine. good deal for 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 the money. I mean, yeah, because I, some I of the cars, so. I mean, you're talking forty thousand dollars, and you don't even get like any even close to the, the level of the. Systems that yeah, no, I mean, this, this car really, you know, we're in the large car segment, but it really branches well into the luxury segment as well. And when you start looking at the comparable uh, competitors and prices, it, it's, you know, it's a really, I think it's in a really good spot. You specifically benchmark this car against uh, Lexus, right? Like the ES? Lexus ES 350 is a competitor we for sure pay attention to. Excellent. Well, we're, uh, this is a very short uh, drive that we, we did. We're going to go out again to on the on the roads and uh, the highway and all that and uh, we will experience everything else of the car there so thank you for the information and thank you for having here. us here in portland you're welcome beautiful day today i think it's uh, one of the few good days of weather they have here <laughs> <laughs> so other stuff can be pretty pretty rainy here yeah no we got lucky i think yeah thank you again you're welcome Bye.